The mission to land on the moon again is pushing forward tonight, and a company based right here in Raleigh could have their technology reach far beyond the stars. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing gives us an inside look at induction food systems and the role they may play. Three, two, one, zero. Lift off. We are entering a new age of space exploration. Artemis 1, an uncrewed mission, had a successful launch. Artemis 2 is set to take humans around the moon in 2025. And as early as 2026, Artemis 3 will take humans back to the surface of the moon. But this time... We are returning to the moon. As a new generation of explorers this time to stay. And if humans are going to create a place to live and a launching point for future explorations to Mars, we need to be able to thrive, not just survive. That's where that induction food systems self, based out of Raleigh comes in. The goal is to make heating better, broadly speaking. Francesco Amoni is the co-founder and CEO. The better heating he's talking about uses what's called electromagnetic induction. Think of a magnet with north and south poles. What induction does is it uses uh, high power electronics in order to switch that north and south pole thousands of times a second. And by doing that, the electrons at the surface of metals wind up getting pulled in one direction or the other. Yeah, but that, when that happens thousands of times a second, it starts to vibrate. And it's that vibration that creates heat, not steam like with most heating systems. We're not going to put high pressure steam uh, in a spaceship or in a lunar colony. So we need an electric way to do it, some way that's renewable, that you can charge with solar panels. That's going to be very, very small and compact and highly efficient. And that's what induction does. So why is this important for our future missions to space? When we think about where that would go long term, is you're either going to start growing your own food on the moon or on Mars, and when you do that, you need a way to preserve it. And Amoni says this way of heating can help with that food preservation, not just in space, but also here on Earth. The early stages of developing this technology were funded by NASA through a grant. So if NASA decides this is how they want our space explorers to continue life on another planet, Amoni says he's willing to send this technology to the moon and beyond. Being able to uh, you know, take technology that NASA's funded, that we've worked on and developed here in North Carolina, and then being able to say, we can use this to extend the range of humankind. That that's be amazing, amazing stuff and amazing opportunity. In Raleigh, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.